The Nokia 9 PureView is official, and it's coming to the US, the first flagship from the HMD Global-backed Nokia brand to do so. You've seen the leaks, you've heard the rumors, and yes, the five cameras are a reality, but they work on like any multi-camera implementations you've seen on phones before. It seems HMD wanted to make sure that Nokia's flagship reintroduction to the States was an intriguing one, for more reasons than one, and more reasons than the five, too. In fact, you can think of 699 reasons why. As we've come to expect from Nokia, it's a beautiful design, constructed of aluminum and glass with a shimmery metallic navy blue back and shiny silver aluminum accents around the edges. In back, the 5 camera array actually looks pretty cool. The sheer number of them gives the Nokia 9 a seriously high-tech look about it, while the flush mounting of all this optical hardware flows seamlessly with the design. The face isn't all screen, there is a forehead and a chin, as well as some bezel shaving it could do on the sides, but this 5.9-inch Quad HD Plus P-OLED PureView display looks to have sharp details and accurate colors from our early impressions. We'll have to see how well its luminosity adapts with more time and varied scenarios, though. Underneath the screen lies an optical fingerprint scanner, but AI-driven facial unlocking is also possible with the Nokia 9's 20-megapixel front-facing camera. Topping things off is an IP67 water and dust resistance rating and Qi wireless charging for its 3320mAh battery. The goal of the Nokia 9's quintuple cameras isn't to give a variety of lenses for different shots, as we've seen on triple camera implementations with the Samsung Galaxy S10, LG V40, and Huawei Mate 20. Instead, HMD's goal is to capture as much information as possible from all five cameras at once to compose one hyper-detailed, data-rich photo. In this setup, we're looking at three 12-megapixel monochrome cameras paired with two 12-megapixel RGB cams. These monochrome cameras can capture up to 2.9 times more light, HMD says. Altogether, photos taken from this configuration will have about 10 times more light information than a single regular camera, something we really hope to see the benefits of in low light. Each of the five cameras automatically and independently adjust exposure, focus, and dynamic range on each sensor, doing so in an impressively quick fashion. The company worked closely with Qualcomm and computational imaging company Light to get these five cameras working together seamlessly, enlisting Light to implement their proprietary Lux capacitor chip into Qualcomm's Snapdragon 845 processor. This is what enables the SD845 to control and process information from the five separate cameras and do so in an instant. Snapping photos from the Nokia 9 didn't appear to show any lag beyond any other flagship shooters we've tested. However, it seems the image processing happens after the fact, and this can take some time, especially with portrait mode shots. Speaking of which, HMD is boasting up to 1200 layers of depth in the Nokia 9's bokeh mode, and the difference can plainly be seen and manipulated in Google Photos. A comparison shown to us from some unnamed top-flight cameras showed untouched photos taken in their device's respective portrait modes, where the evidence of a more accurate, layered, gradually applied bokeh effect is objectively seen on the Nokia 9. Color reproduction may be more subjective, though. The Nokia 9 wasn't our favorite in this aspect, but these are very early and limited impressions. The richer depth information also affords users more tweaking in Google Photos, as well as an alternative focus selection after the fact. Naturally, we're chomping at the bit to put the Nokia 9 through our own photographic paces and see for ourselves how reliably these cameras can produce well-lit, detailed, and accurate photos, which, most importantly, can make all our friends jealous. Of course, with all that image data, you may be wondering about storage. The Nokia 9 will save 12-megapixel JPEGs as well as raw DNG formats on the phone. Google Photos' free unlimited cloud storage will upload JPEGs, and while the DNG formats can save to the cloud as well, those will count against your storage limit. HMD chose the DNG format on purpose, as it's Adobe's proprietary image standard, another company which had some collaboration on the Nokia 9. In this case, that means that the Lightroom app for Android has been specifically tailored to get the most out of the unique photo information, what's called a lens profile, for the imagery produced by the Nokia 9's five cameras. The Lightroom app won't be pre-installed, but it will be offered during initial setup on the device. Priced at $699 for the US, we can't express how relieved we are to hear this. We only wish it were compatible with all carriers. Sure, you still have the OnePlus 6T undercutting that price by about $100, but who else? Not many, and certainly none with Penta cameras working as one and Nokia's clean, well-supported Android versions. It's not a perfect setup, though. As you might have heard earlier, due to the chip-specific work needed to achieve the five-camera setup, it's still running last year's Snapdragon 845 flagship SoC. And while 128GB starting storage with 6 gigs of RAM is a solid offering, it would be nice to have a microSD card slot, especially considering that the raw image captures on this device hover around the 30 megabyte mark. Still, the Nokia 9 is quite the effort from HMD Global, and is once again putting Nokia's name on people's lips in the US market, along with flagship, cutting edge, and less expensive. 
all terms which fans and critics alike are excited to hear. I'm Corey Gaskin with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out phonearena.com for more coverage on MWC 2019.